In today's video, I'll show you how to make this transparent watermark. Open CapCut, tap the plus sign to step to new project, tap on photo and add a random photo. Then swipe over and tap on format, choose 16 by 9 or the video format you want to use. Select your photo once more and then swipe over and tap on opacity. Bring the slider all the way down to zero. As you can see, the background turns black. Next, take a screenshot and crop it so only the black area of the photo is shown, like this. When the watermark is created, it will be a photo, so you can make it as long as you need to without duplicating or copying it. The next thing you want to do is tap on canvas, choose a green background color. Go back to the main timeline and tap overlay and then add overlay to add the black photo that you just created. This is what we will use to create the circle shape inside the watermark. Choose the black photo, tap on add, and it will be added as an overlay. To create shapes in your graphics, use mask. With the overlay selected, swipe over and find the mask option. Tap on mask. When you see it, tap circle and then pinch and zoom to resize the circle to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to add my initials. So I'll tap on text, tap on the A button with the plus icon next to it. Once you've got the text you want, you can tap on font to change the font. Notice that I've added an extra space. This is because of where I'm going to place the watermark. Select the font that you want to use by tapping on it. Don't change the size of the text until you do this, because each font that you use will change the size of the text. To make the letters transparent, tap on style, then I'll tap on text, and choose the same green color as the background. You can only use the chroma key option once on any clip. Take a screenshot, crop it down so that the green portion of the photo is showing. You can add a watermark to photos or videos. So I'm going to add it to a photo. I'll open up CapCut once more. Start a new CapCut project by tapping on the plus sign. Tap photos and grab a stock photo that I'm going to use as the background. I'll add the stock photo into the timeline and remove the default end screen. Next I'll tap overlay from the main timeline and choose add overlay and I'll choose the watermark that I just created. Select Chroma and tap on it. Move the color picker over top of the color that you want to remove. Then tap on intensity and bring the slider up until the green color disappears. Next, you need to decide where to put the watermark. I'm going to put it over top of the notepad and pen in the upper left hand corner. So I'll select the watermark and long press on it and drag it into position. Then swipe over and tap on opacity once more so that you can give your watermark a more faded look. This is what makes it transparent. Once you've tapped on opacity, move the slider until the watermark looks good to you. I think I'll leave it right about there. You can pinch and zoom to resize the watermark once it's in position or readjust the opacity to make it a little more transparent. Tap the check mark once more and you'll be taken back to the main timeline. At this point, you would probably export the clip using the export button. However, because this is a background, I'll use the screenshot trick once more. Take a screenshot and crop it down so that just the photo is visible. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.